I just felt like the mountains were holding me. It wasn't like they're putting me down or anything. They were just like holding me and lifting me up. It was such a weird thing because even when I left, I cried so much and I felt like my tears were because of the mountains. So going back to what actually our roots are is so incredible and so powerful. And I feel like we should all have at least the curiosity to find out more about it. I'm Celia de Luna. I am from Peru, from the Andes in Ayacucho, and we're here in Cusco, but I live in Miami. I was born in Ayacucho, which is in, in the Andes of Peru, kind of like where we are right now. Same vibes. Um, I think what shaped me was being raised by a single mom, you know, um, and her being an adventurer. <laughs> she used to work at this travel agency and we would just go on like random trips and she would take me. You leave here when? When you're a teenager, right? When I'm a teenager, yeah. I think it was pretty fast actually. My mom was like, we gotta go. You know, I lost my job and there's an opportunity to go to Miami. So we left and I remember going to Miami, Miami, smelling like spaghetti. <laughs> I just wanted to go back to my roots first, you know, and Cusco was one of the places that I've always wanted to visit and stay a little longer than just like a few days. Um, so I found this residency. They asked me, what do you want to do your residency about? And I was like, well, I've always wanted to take photos of my dad, but I also wanted to get to know him. I think that was also my intention of coming here. Um, because I don't know this man. I wasn't ready for the emotions, um, but I, I was determined to do it. It was like a constant reminder to be with him. You know, we're riding his like old truck and, <laughs> and I'm like, fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> and I would look at him and be like, Yes, I see him, um, I listen to you. Um, and as the days progressed, I wasn't too conscious of it anymore. You know, it just, it was just flowing. I didn't want to be forceful about it. I was just listening to his conversations and like listening to his stories about places and stuff. And I'd be like, oh, this is actually a nice photo, you know? You know he looks good here. And I'm like, oh, let me set up um, the camera. Just talk to me, Dad. Talk to me and I'll set up. What has it been like to, to, to create a, such a personal project that will be likely seen by a lot of people? Being it so personal, I think it's more of a self-discovery and more of a healing, self-healing um, way for me to, to process my feelings through my art. is scary. AF to put it out there. But I also feel that it's important and it's almost like a duty for me to do it because I feel like the times that I've doubted myself, I was reassured when I put my work out there that people connected with it. You know, like the Cholitas, I was like, fuck it, this is something that I love, it's out there. Um, and people were, you know, like, especially moms and dads were like, okay, like, I have a brown girl and I'm gonna hang a picture of a brown girl because I want them to be inspired by them. And that's so amazing, you know, and having someone be touched by my art is incredible. So um, even if it's just one person and it connects with it, that's enough for me.